everybody. So today I just wanted to hop on and make a quick video about safety and solo travel in Paris. Paris is understandably one of the most popular cities in the entire world, and it really is a great place to go if you're traveling alone, but at the same time it's important to know some tips and tricks to stay safe ahead of time, especially if you're traveling solo as a woman or traveling solo for the first time. It's just good to be prepared in advance. So obviously my first major tip would be exercise additional precautions at night. Now I'm not saying don't go out in Paris at night. The city is absolutely gorgeous with everything lit up. I love seeing the Eiffel Tower sparkling, for example. But you know, just use a uh, common sense if you're going out at night. And if you ever feel uncomfortable or don't wanna walk back to your hotel, Paris does have ride chairs available. The Metro is awesome and all, but of course, if you just don't feel comfortable taking it back alone at night, use a ride share. Don't worry about spending the money. Your safety is never worth compromising. So my next tip actually has to do with speaking a little bit of French. Not only is it polite to learn a little bit of French before you go, especially in restaurants. I love practicing my French in cafes in Paris, but it also makes you less likely to stand out as a target if you're speaking a little French versus English. Um, scammers do target tourists in particular, and by speaking the local language, they may think twice about messing with you. My next tip has to do with your comfort in Paris. You will be doing a ton of walking, especially if you have a lot of major attractions that you wanna see. Um, for me, I would easily clock 20,000 steps each day walking around Paris, so you'll be walking a lot. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes. I know it's fun to look fashionable. I mean, you are in one of the capitals of fashion after all, but your feet will absolutely hate you if you walk around in uncomfortable footwear. And the last thing you want to be doing is bandaging up blisters when you could be seeing amazing artworks in the Louvre or having a picnic in one of the many parks here. So make sure that you wear comfortable shoes. Personally, I wore a really cute pair of Cole Haan sneakers that were water resistant as well, because even though you would love to have sunny days the entire time in Paris, it does rain a lot here, a lot like London. So make sure that your shoes are also water resistant because the very last thing you wanna be doing is wandering around Paris with wet feet. It would be extremely uncomfortable. And that's the very last thing that you need as a solo traveler. Another safety tip is remembering that Paris is a huge city. Obviously, Paris is ginormous, so you do want to research ahead of time where you want to stay. I personally think that you should splurge a little bit more to stay in a nice area. Now, obviously, accommodation a lot depends on your budget, but if possible, I would pick a district like the Marais, which has plenty of really cool shops, restaurants, other people around, rather than saving money to stay on the outskirts, because there's some areas where you may not feel safe going back to your accommodation, and that can put a massive damper on your trip. So those are just a few basic safety tips for Paris. I promise it's an amazing place to go, and I have a lot more details on my blog, which I'll link below, but have a great time in Paris. It's fantastic.